All right, I just wanted to give you a few updates on what's going on here. First of all, well, first of all, let me do... I'm just, just getting into this car. This is the Audi R8. Here at Laguna Seca. My father uh, used to work here as a track hand, uh, cleaning up after Rex or whatever. Uh... I didn't grow up in California, though. They moved here to Colorado and born and raised native here. So, that's beside the point. The point is, I just want to give you two major updates. First one being my OBS, the OBS studio that I'm using. If you go back on any of my previous videos, since I switched to triples here for iRacing, maybe even before that, The. Let's see if I could talk here while I'm driving. <laughs> My OBS studio. I, I've been. It's been driving me crazy the past couple weeks, and that's one of the main reasons I did that venting video. You can see. I apologize for that, by the way. The venting video, but I was just going through a lot of hell trying to get this thing right. Plus, dealing with depression and all that. It's an ongoing thing for me. I, did, I didn't explain all that I... There was a lot I didn't explain in that video that I tried to get through in the description below if you want to check it out. But anyway, the OBS settings finally got something. You know what it was? See, I haven't been getting a smooth frame rate or whatever. It's been choppy. It seems like one lap's okay, the next lap's choppy. And after going through all kinds of different videos, that's off the track limits. Been downshift enough anyway. After going through all kinds of videos on different YouTubers, showing you what settings they use and what what not, it seems like nothing worked. It always it never translated to a smooth video through and through. Well, you know what? The problem was I had to do a clean install. Now it works. You should be able to see that. I'm not getting any choppiness now in my video. So that should be the new, the new norm. Whoa. So I haven't done any raced any other cars on this besides the Mazda MX-5 Cup car. So this is going to take some getting used to. That's why I'm running some testing laps, and I thought it's a good opportu opportunity to give you guys these updates, that one being the OBS settings. And two, I ordered Huskenfeld Sprint Pedals. And part, part of if I'm not pronunciating well, Huskenfeld there's a D on the end. It probably sounds like I said Huskenveld. Huskenveld sprint pedals have been ordered. Um, hopefully they'll be... I would hope they'll be here by the end of this week, but yeah, who knows with the COVID and all. Maybe not till next week or something. And Sector 3 is 0.9. Off your best. Let's see how quick they are getting them here. So I like to run... You'll notice I don't have my motion on. I like to have it off. Unless I know the track well, I like to have my motion off to start with. To do some testing. Because the motion kind of distracts from getting fast, I think. Until you do get fast and know all your turns and stuff. I'll turn it back on. And... I just need to figure out how to get through there quick. And it's hard for me to talk and concentrate at the same time. So anyway, I can't wait for the Huskenfeld pedals because these Thrustmaster pedals are driving me crazy. 
I have to recalibrate the brake every time I go into a session for some reason. I don't have to recalibrate the gas pedal or the clutch. They stay right where I had them before, where I haven't calibrated. When I go into iRacing, I, I calibrate them from differently from where they are normally. So I don't have to press the brakes, mash it down as hard, and wear my foot out. So I'm only pressing half or less of what the what you can fully on the brake. And sector one is 1.4 seconds. I bet, best. I bet you if I had the Thrustmaster pedals. Uh, hooked directly, like they should be, uh, hooked directly into the wheelbase for a Thrustmaster wheelbase. They have an, they, it's, they use an RJ12 plug, but the, um, but they, it's not, Sector two how is do I explain one, one it? Seconds. Slower than your best. At the end of the plug where it connects to the input or whatever, there's that little tab you, you, well, when you go to unplug it, there's that little tab you, you push down before it disconnects. Now that tab is not the same. It's not lined up like it is on normal LJ, RJ12 uh, plugs. It's off the, to the side a little bit, um, if that explains it. So because of that, I can't use any old RJ12 to USB adapter. That's how I have it. Uh, that's how I'm using these Thrustmaster pedals right now. RJ12 to USB adapter, but I'm using the the adapter that came with my Thrustmaster rudder pedals. So maybe that's why the calibration doesn't stay on iRacing with the brake. It does with the gas and the clutch, but not the brake. So as you can see, it's going to take me, I'll probably have to like run at least 20 laps or so to, to really dial this thing and get it going faster. I know this track, but I've just never driven it this fast. Like I said, I've only done the Mazda Cup cars here. I think I got one video from here. If you go back, go on my playlist for the road courses, you should see the Mazda MX-5 this track. So that's basically it. Two updates, two okay, major updates for me anyway. Something that's been driving me crazy all this time, not being able to get you guys a good quality, good quality content video uh, image wise and those last settings I was using on the the video from Im uh, Imola it knocked up my file size from like sector one is around five or whatever best. gigabytes up to like 80 gigabytes for one of my videos and it took that just that much longer to upload to YouTube and then to, if any want to do any editing, it took that much longer as well. So now I think I gotta found a finally found something here. I've said it before, and I hope I don't have to say it again. And one more thing. I was gonna mention my plan is this week to, and every week, to do a few races at the VRS, or at least get one recorded, and NASCAR, and also some dirt. I got two fellow sim racers, one wants me to get do some VRS racing with them, and the other one wants me to get into dirt, which I do too. Do some, probably do some street stock fixed in the dirt. So, I figured if I say that, that'll give me more incentive or motivation 
so I don't want to go back on my word. So saying that here should help me out to keep that prioritized. So now I'm going to run Sector after this lap. Off your best. I'll run two more laps here without talking just to see how much faster I can be. Starting now, even though we've already been into this lap a bit. Off limits. Watch the track limits, please, Jesse. All right. So now the only thing I'm worried about, besides getting faster, would be my fans. I guess that's another update. Eventually, I'll get some new pictures up, load them to Imager, and have it linked in the description below. But for now, I'll just let you know you can't see they're off screen. But before they were above my button boxes, I had them mounted with adhesive and GoPro mounts here on the top of my button box. But they were, since I switched to, switched to triple monitors, they were cutting off the view on some of the triples there. So I got them mounted below my button box now. It's much better, but now I'm worried it, it might be more interference wind-wise on the microphone here. But I, I do have all these filters and stuff that I'm working with, so that should help. You're still still going to hear it, and you probably did. I just hope it's not any worse than it was before. It's as good as I can get it. It is what it is. I hate saying that, but it is what it is. As good as I can get it. So, yeah, that and uh, what you see here, these overlays should go away. I exit out of the car there, but as you can see, they're still on the screen. So, maybe that'll change when I get the Pro version. I don't know. I only have the free version. I plan on getting the Pro here eventually. Who knows when, but eventually. Maybe not that soon. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So, we'll see you back. Some actual racing action for my next video. Thanks for watching.